why these border clashes between India and China border since 1959, watch this documentary to understand the start of the war between India and China. India-China First War The India-China War 1962, also known as the Indo-China War and Sino-Indian border conflict, was a war between India and China that occurred in 1962. A Chinese-disputed Himalayan border was the main cause of the war. There had been a series of violent border skirmishes between the two countries after the 1959 Tibetan uprising, when Indian President Jawaharlal Nehru granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. India initiated a defensive forward policy from 1960 to hinder Chinese military patrols and logistics, in which it placed outposts along the border, including several north of the Mekman Line, the eastern portion of the line of actual control proclaimed by Chinese Premier Xinlai in 1959. Xinlai Xinlai also known by his courtesy name of Zhuxiang, was the first Premier of the People's Republic of China. Zhu was China's head of government, serving from October 1949 until his death in January 1976. Zhu served under Chairman Mao Zedong and was instrumental in the Communist Party's rise to power. B.M. Call, Bridge Moan Call At the beginning of 1961, Nehru appointed General B.M. Call as Army Chief of General Staff, prepare for a possible war. According to James Barnard Calvin of the U.S. Navy, in 1959, India started sending Indian troops and Himalayan border patrols into disputed areas. McMahon Line The McMahon Line is the demarcation line between Tibet and the northeast region of India proposed by British colonial administrator Sir Henry McMahon at the 1914 Simla Convention signed between British and Tibetan representatives. It is the legal boundary between China and India. The line is named after Henry McMahon, Foreign Secretary of British India and the Chief Negotiator of the Convention at Simla. It was signed by McMahon and Launch and Satra on behalf of the Tibetan government. It extends for 890 km 550 miles from Bhutan in the west to 260 km 160 miles east of the great bend of the Brahmaputra River in the east, largely along the crest of the Himalayas. Simla along with the McMahon Line, was initially rejected by the government of India as incompatible with the 1907 Anglo-Russian Convention. 
This convention was denounced in 1921. After Simla, the McMahon line was forgotten until 1935, when British civil service officer Olaf Caro convinced the government to publish the Simla convention and use the McMahon line on official maps. The McMahon line is regarded by India as the legal national border, but China rejects the Simla Accord and the McMahon line, contending that Tibet was not a sovereign state and therefore did not have the power to conclude treaties. Chinese maps show some 65,000 km 25,000 square miles of the territory south of the line as part of the Tibet Autonomous Region, known as South Tibet in China. Chinese forces briefly occupied this area during the Sino-Indian War of 1962. China does recognize a line of actual control which closely approximates most of the so-called McMahon line in the eastern part of its border with India, according to a 1959 diplomatic note by Prime Minister Xinlai. The 14th Dalai Lama did not originally recognize India's sovereignty over Arunachal Pradesh. As late as 2003, he said that Arunachal Pradesh was actually part of Tibet. In January 2007, however, he said that both the Tibetan government and Britain recognized the Mokman line in 1914. In June 2008, he explicitly recognized for the first time that Arunachal Pradesh was a part of India under the agreement signed by Tibetan and British representatives. Chinese military action grew increasingly aggressive after India rejected proposed Chinese diplomatic settlements throughout 1960 to 1962 with China recommencing previously banned forward patrols in Ladakh from 30 April 1962. China finally abandoned all attempts of peaceful resolution on 20 October 1962, invading disputed territory along the 3,225 km 2,000 miles long Himalayan border in Ladakh and across the Mukman Line. Chinese troops advanced over Indian forces in both theatres, capturing Rijang Lan Chashul in the Western Theatre, as well as Tawang in the Eastern Theatre. The war ended when China declared a ceasefire on 20 November 1962, and simultaneously announced its withdrawal to its claimed line of actual control. Much of the fighting took place in harsh mountain conditions, entailing large-scale combat at altitudes of over 4,000 meters 14,000 feet. The Sino-Indian War was also notable for the lack of deployment of naval and aerial assets by either China or India. As the Sino-Soviet split heated up, Moscow made a major effort to support India, especially with the sale of advanced MiG fighter aircraft. The United States and Britain refused to sell advanced weaponry to India, causing it to turn to the Soviet Union. This was the first war between India and China. Following the end of the war, both sides kept forward armed positions and a number of small clashes broke out, but no large-scale fighting recorded. Finally the China-India war came to unrest on November 1962. Thank you for watching our documentary, we hope you enjoyed it. If you do please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more historic videos also please share this video to your family and friends. See you soon.